everyone, so welcome to today's henna class. I'm RuPaul. I'm Rika. This is my mom. And together we're going to be creating some of our very own henna patterns. To join in, you'll need some paper or card, some drawing materials, if you can get hold of some henna cones, and finally some colouring pencils or felt tips. Henna is actually made from a plant called the Sonia inermis and it's then crushed down into a powder and then mixed with essential oils such as eucalyptus or lavender. Henna grows in hot countries and it was used for personal air conditioning in hot countries such as Iraq and India, people used to apply it onto their hands to cool themselves down when they got really, really hot. Henna is also worn at weddings, so you might see a bride or a groom wearing lots of henna on their wedding day because it's a sign of happiness and celebrations. Henna is also used for medicine because of its cooling effects. It's really good to calm down fever and also used for headaches. So if you're doing henna, you might feel really, really relaxed and chilled out after it. Henna is a lovely activity to do with your friends and family. When I was younger, we used to go to henna parties and my aunties and uncles and cousins, we all used to sit together and do henna on each other. So it's for everyone and anyone to get involved with. Okay, so let's get started. So first, what we're going to do is, I want you to pick four shapes. They can be any type of shape, but you just need to be able to fill them in. So you might want to choose a diamond or a heart, or maybe a shape that means something to you. Well, this is quite a traditional pattern, uh, sorry, a traditional shape in henna and it's called a mango or a paisley so all of your four shapes need to be roughly around the same size so one shouldn't be smaller or larger than the other I'm going to fill my diamond in with some flower patterns so I'm going to start off at a corner and we're going to do a little swirl all of these swirls need to be the same size so one shouldn't be bigger than the other and I'm going to add some petals and a border and then we're just going to repeat that starting at each corner if this is a little bit tricky for you then feel free to add in your own patterns in the shape you can just do lines if you like you can maybe colour it in as well my next pattern I am going to do some shading so you're going to get your pencil lightly and draw some lines across the heart so the trick is here to move quickly and lightly across our shape and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a bold thick pattern in the middle so I'm going to do some swirls here I'm going to press on quite hard with my pencil and then what we're going to do with our shapes as well after we've finished our detail is we're going to give it a nice thick border by going over the lines One of our final steps now is looking at how we can put all the shapes together in a design. I'm just going to draw this line to help me with some direction and I'm going to draw my heart that I used earlier and my diamond and my paisley pattern and finally my leaf. Okay, and finally, to finish off your henna pattern, we're going to make it a little bit thicker 
by adding some little intricate details like graduating dots or maybe you could add some fans or some swirls along the side. You can be creative with this and add in your own different patterns. Okay, we're going to use everything we've learnt now in the henna workshop and put it together to create our very own intricate henna patterns. So you can do this with a family member, a friend or even by yourself. So I'm going to work with mum to draw my line of direction. I'm going to add in my four shapes that I chose earlier, so my heart, my diamond, my paisley. I'm going to fill in the different shapes and then put on my finishing touches with the dots and the little fans all around. You can be really creative with this as much as you want, add in your own little flair, add in some of your own patterns if you like as well. Henna painting can be used in many different ways. It can really help you to focus and relax through drawing the detailed and intricate patterns. It's also great for getting different communities of all ages and backgrounds together because there's something for everybody. You can really be creative and express yourselves through all the different patterns. If you're feeling really daring, then you can move on to doing your henna pattern with actual henna paste on the skin. I'll leave some links at the end of this video about where you can purchase natural and safe henna cones to use at home. So the colour of the paste should be a natural green to a brown. Please do not use black henna, it is not safe and it's often mixed with different chemicals that can be really harmful for the skin. So once this is applied to the hand, it will take about 20 minutes to dry and it will go kind of hard and crusty. You can then just peel it off, you don't need to wash it off with water, you can just peel it off and then gradually you will see the henna colour getting darker and darker so it will go from an orange colour to a deep red and brown. The henna stain will last up to 14 days depending on how much you wash your hands. You can use henna to decorate cookies or to decorate celebration cards and even use henna painting for social changes. 